Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, we all know that the Scottish education system is crumbling, but so, it appears, is the infrastructure, the actual schools themselves. And indeed, are falling apart at such an extent that it is now an absolute health and safety issue to the point where it could even be lethal. Uh, it could be to the point where pupils could end up losing their lives. And what are the SNP doing about it? What do they always do? Nothing. This issue has come to the fore in recent months and in England they're closing down many schools in order to deal with the problem. Uh, and the problem of course needs money thrown at it. Uh, the SNP haven't got the money and so they're not closing the schools to repair them. They're just not closing the schools at all because they seem to think that children's lives are not as important as saving a little bit of cash. Shows the priorities there. We'll take a look at this article to see why uh, Jenny Gilruth, who is ultimately responsible for this, dare not close schools and dare not embark on a series of repairs simply because they just don't have the cash. It's easier to replace a child than repair a school. Here goes. So anger at Jenny Gilruth's failure to act on Scotland's dangerous schools built with unsafe con concrete. Uh, and they were built about 60 years ago uh, and they were using this thing called aerated concrete, uh, which when it gets wet has all the strength and uh, you know supporting ability of moist cardboard. It really is an absolute danger. Uh, and yet uh, it's something that can be fixed if you throw money at the problem and that nobody's doing it. And instead of pulling children out of these potentially very dangerous schools, they're saying, no, 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 it's fine. Get back in. We don't care. Obviously, uh, you know, parents can have another child, but uh, we, we haven't got the money to build another school. Uh, dozens of Scottish schools have been built with concrete from the 60s that is likely to crumble or even collapse when it gets wet. But MSPs say the SNP administration has nothing to tackle the issue over the summer holidays. They've done nothing. Nothing. It hasn't even looked at the problem. Uh, and there she is, the, uh, the, the next useless person in the education chair, thick as two short planks. Um, schools in England made with aerated concrete have been ordered to shut until safety work is undertaken. Thousands of pupils will start the term learning online from home as more than 100 buildings have been closed over fears that they could collapse. There was anger tonight at the last minute decision, despite the fact that concerns about safety of the concrete have been raised multiple times over the previous few years. Uh, however, opposition MSP said the UK government had acted unlike the SNP administration, which of course has not. It doesn't want to close the schools. It doesn't want to educate children at home. Because of course not, if it educates them at home, children might not learn what the SNP want them to learn. It emerged in May that at least 37 schools in 11 council areas had been built with reinforced autoclaved aerated concrete, RAAC, uh, which is liable to crumble when wet one council was facing a bill of £37 million to fix just two buildings. Now, that £37 million, two buildings, 37 schools, you're looking at the guts of three quarters of a billion pounds just to fix these schools. So it's obviously easier to just let children go in there and if they collapse, well, never mind, because that's cheaper uh, to pay out compensation than it will be to fix the schools. That's how they're going to be looking at this. Uh, after U UK Education Secretary uh, Gillian Keegan insisted that a cautious approach was the correct way to deal with the issue, Scottish politicians are now calling for an urgent update from the SNP counterpart Jenny Gilruth when Holyrood returns next week. Uh, Lib Dem leader Alex Cole Hamilton said, in May, my party revealed that at least 37 Scottish schools had this dangerous concrete in place. And since then, that figure has continued to grow. It could end up being a billion pounds. We cannot have children being taught in potentially unsafe buildings. They can't. It's actually illegal. If, and here's the health and safety law. If a danger 
has been observed or has been reported, it is behoven upon the statutory governing authority, whoever that may be, an employer or a local authority or the government, whoever is in the position of authority, must address the issue. There is no, I oh, will have a look at that later. It is a ongoing, immediate responsibility for that danger to be mitigated with immediate effect. Now, they have been told of this danger. They are legally bound to deal with that problem. The fact that they're not puts them at variance with the law. And the great thing, and this is why I love health and safety law, is that it isn't just the Scottish government that will be liable because health and safety law does not exist purely against corporations or against um, authorities. It's down to the individual level. And having been informed of it, Jenny Gilruth, who's the person responsible for schools in Scotland, is she herself personally liable under health and safety law. She has been told about it personally. It is now her personal duty to deal with it. That's how serious health and safety law is. And there is no limit, no maximum jail time, and there is no maximum fine. Health and safety law is one of those incredibly strong laws. Now, she knows about it. She might, Now, of course, the government know about it. The government must act. But she knows about it. She must act. And every school governor that knows about it must act. And every school headmaster who knows about it must act. It's the law. And any school, let's say, any, any school um, governing body, whoever it will be, the Board of Governors or whatever they've got, that allow children into a dangerous school where a potential danger has been um, unearthed can be opened to immediate corporate and personal um, litigation. And that's all it takes to do. All you need to do is get the parents of these schools to say, we want you to write a letter to us confirming in writing that you sign that this school is 100% safe. And only then will we return our children to it. <laughs> that ain't going to happen, is it? These people ain't so stupid as to put their name on that. Anyway, uh, he, he went on. This is Alec Cole Hamilton went on. Uh, we need a ministerial statement from the Scottish Government and a commitment from the First Minister to set up a fund to support councils and health boards in removing the material from such buildings as, and, as schools and indeed as hospitals. Didn't know it was in hospitals as well. There we go. Uh, Scottish Liberal Democrats would provide the funds needed for schools to urgently remove this concrete from their buildings and clear the backlog of school repairs. Scottish Tory education spokesman Liam Kerr told that while school buildings were the responsibility of councils, this was now a critical safety issue that required urgent solutions to deal with it. It is, and it has to be dealt with. It's a, like I say, it's a legal thing. He told Tez magazine that, uh, that's the Time Educa uh, Times Educational Supplement, that it is not good enough for the ministers in charge to repeatedly say it's down to local authorities and wash their hands of the matter. It's not because they now know about it. They are also liable. They are like, if you know about a danger, you are in the, in the loop. You too are liable. Um, anyway, particularly given, he said, that Scottish councils have been starved of funding and may not have the resources to assess and act on this urgently and thoroughly. We cannot afford to wait for a safety incident to occur before doing something about this. And in a written response, Mr Kerr, earlier this summer, uh, Miss Gilruth said that the building safety is a matter for the owner. No, it isn't. Uh, who in this case would be the individual local authorities. She added that health and safety legislation is not devolved to the Scottish Government. No, it's not. And that's your problem, love. It is a national issue. And it, the national issue says that everyone... Every single person who is aware of that danger is liable for that danger. Good luck. Good luck trying to spin this one. I've been, I've been working in the construction trade long enough to know about liability on there of uh, construction sites and dangers. We are covered up to our ass. We had insurances. We had insurances on our insurances. We were covered. Uh, and everyone, everyone is liable. As soon as you see an issue... You're liable. You report it. That person's liable. You report it to the company. The company's liable. And that means that the directors of that company are liable. It's all the way up. 
all the way. And the fact that Jenny Gilruth now knows about it means she too is now liable. She cannot get past it. And the fact she's saying, oh, it's not a devolved matter. Matters not one jot. Not one jot. Anyone want to round up and come up? Now, of course, the immediate course of action is to take every child out of every school and do an inspection of every school to see if those schools have got the, uh, the, this particular type of aerated concrete. And if they have, that school must be condemned as an absolute danger with immediate effect. All the rest of the children can go back to the schools that don't have it, of course. But once the danger has been identified, that building is then deemed unsafe and unfit and the children cannot be allowed, and, and staff as well, cannot be allowed back in it because it represents a clear and immediate and present danger. And so that building must be either repaired or demolished and rebuilt. Or, you know, just generally a new building built beside it or some such. But it cannot be allowed to be used because of the obvious and clear danger that it presents. And that's the problem that the SNP have got. 16 years in power and they've done nothing about this. And they've had years of notice, several years, three, two, three years of notice. And have they embarked on a long-term fix? No, they put their head in the sand and just said, now, nah, we don't care about the safety and lives of children in Scotland because we haven't got the money to take care of the problem. SNP straight up through and through, every single one of them, they're willing to gamble your children's lives because they don't have the money. Because they've wanked it away, as I say, on foreign embassies or on spin doctors or on pretty little brochures. I'll stop there. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Again, the truth comes out. Please hit the subscribe button. Please help us keep bringing you the truth to show how awful these people are. Till next time, stay safe, stay well. And remember, get a note from the school confirming in writing and signed that that school is safe before you allow your child to go back into it. Bye.